Okay, it's 3.12 p.m. March 30th. I'm at my dad's house doing the garden tour. Uh, I did one last year, a garden tour last year at my dad's house. I think it might have been the second one. Maybe it was the third, I don't know. But it was on March 31st, so it's kind of just basically 360 either. I don't know if we had leap year or whatever. I guess not. So maybe 364 days ago, I did a garden tour. <laughs> so... I mean, I did other ones too, but it's just crazy to see the difference. So, uh, we have some tulips right here, which these are the first ones that popped up. And there's like a little bloom there. Let's see, there it is, right there. I'm getting ready to open up sometime soon. These American elm saplings that need to be pulled out, they have some leaves on them now, some little leaves popping out. And then here's uh, these perennials here. And then, let's see. There is a dandelion here, which is actually was halfway open yesterday, now it's completely open. I know those don't count as flowers, but I just love them so much, as long as there's not too many. And then here's the columbine here, Let's see if I can move my shadow out the way. There is the columbine, and there's also some, it's kind of spreading, there's like some more, like right there and there too, so that's nice. And then there's some more too, it's like right there, and... <laughs> this one's already got a little bloom on it. Not a bloom, but like a bud, but it's really tiny. For the... So that's interesting. And we have this two up here. And columbine here. Kind of spreading there. I guess they're like strawberries, which is really cool. I like that. Because, you know, strawberries will like spread out and start in new areas, which is really cool. So then there's those perennials, which are the same as over there. I can't remember what they're called. I always forget. And then we have this little tulip right here. It's barely anything, but still. And then we have, there's the honey locust trees. They start getting little buds, leafish, leafish. I don't know how to explain it. Little leaf things on them. Let's see if I can get an example here, hold on. I don't think they're gonna be leaves yet, but see that? Uh -uh. Yeah, I'll be. I think they're like little fuzzy flower things and then a leaf leaves after. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, see, this, this really sucks. There's a lot of weeds in here that need to be pulled out, but it's been so busy. Here's uh, some tulips here. Getting, let's see, they're getting a bud. I think they're kind of getting one like right there. And then we have. See, there's a tulip here and a tulip right there. Oh my goodness, I forgot it was like column by mess. I'm gonna go all the way over here, so hopefully that will grow good. I didn't realize it would spread. I like how it's like because they're these ones will probably get even taller this year, like they're supposed to climb up the tree. I think I don't know for sure, but it'll be cool. And this right here is a sapling of an autumnalized maple tree, which is what that is. So I'm guessing that's where it came from. So it's getting buds on. I'm probably gonna keep that there and hope that it grows. Cause I love more trees. Oh, and then here it is. I noticed these weird daffodil things. I don't even know if these are daffodils or what, but these started popping up. Now they kind of look like onions. I don't even know. But they started growing up right next to the uh, columbine there. And uh, some parts of the lawn are greening up a bit. Like, let's see if I can find a better example. Like over by the road it is, but they, I made a video of this when I was really little. My dad's old house over there had like a fire hydrant in the yard. Looks just like that yellow one, right? And then they opened it up. It's like really old, one of my old videos I made years ago. And they opened it up and the water shoot out. I, the video is called Crazy Fire Hydrant. I didn't make a video of them doing this one, but they did this one over here the other day. I go, I have a video of it, but I haven't put it on YouTube. Maybe I will, but I don't know for sure. But yeah. It kind of shot into a yard a little. I don't know if that's what made the grass greener over here or not, but if it is, and I knew about it, if I knew that it made the grass green, I might just try to see if I could get this grass to turn green by watering it, but I feel like it's still dormant, so I don't know if it'll do anything or not. Um, but yeah, and then over here we have, there's a daffodil right here. It's getting a little bloom on it, almost gonna open up soon those tulips right there and then there's some tulips there too and there's this daffodil here which is are these daffodils they're not getting a bloom on them yet i don't think but hopefully they will 
And here it is. There's a hunting chick succulent there. And these tulips, I don't know if I've seen any blooms on them yet, but our little thing's getting ready to bloom on them, but these are the red ones of the black in the center. Those are cool. These ones get big and pretty, so that's cool. And there's a tulip there, there, and I always forget that sometimes there's like tulips that grow right behind there. Let's see if you can see them like that. I don't know if it'll make it or not, but it's weird how some are there. And if you can, if you notice the our golden privet was that I thought it was called a golden private. Well, I guess it's called, pronounced privet. It's getting leaves on it now, so that's good. This gets pretty smelling flowers in the summer. So that's cool. That's getting leaves, and then whatever this tree is, it's getting. Let's see, is it getting leaves? No, that's an American elm tree right there. It's way there. I gotta get that out some just <laughs> Man, that's crazy how huge those get. It got all the way up there, and it started like right there, like only like, a few years ago. But this tree up here. Man, it's even got American elm branches in it, but it's not getting leaves yet. It's getting buds though. And uh, the neighbors out in place maple trees blooming at the top, but should they have like uh, this bush that's getting leaves on it? So yeah. And this is like a, I think there's like a, oh my gosh, I was wasps on it. See that paper wasp nest? I guess that was there last year and I had no idea. <laughs> but it looks like it's being reused this year, hopefully. It'll be interesting to see what it does. It'll be crazy if next year it's like huge, like a pancake size. We also put this barrel here, like a rain collector thing. But right here we have a tulip here with just one little leaf. And there's one there too, with just one leaf. And then, oh, here's, here's the daffodils. These are, they seem to get in the biggest ones. These are like by the house. I got two blooms that will come up soon. That'll be nice. So those are doing good. Boxwood bush, boxwood bush, black smoke of Philly, bush, all that stuff, and then I'll show you the side yard real quick, and then I'll go into the backyard, because, yeah. See our side yard grass is looking like crap stuff, but parts of it are graining up. It's so weird how that works. We have some daffodils right here. This one's getting a little bud, getting ready to bloom someday soon. Let's see, there we go. And then, um, this American elm sapling here is getting a little leaves and buds on it. And the ones like back by the trail over there, they've been flowering, but they finally got, they don't get their leaves, they get their seeds on it first after the flower. So that's what they're getting now is their seeds barely popping out. It's hard to see from here, but, but yeah. And then here's this boxwood bush and, oh yeah, this is what I meant to show you, the tulips right here. Some tulips here. And I think there was like tulips over here somewhere, but I don't know where they went. They're probably covered in all those weeds. I'm like, I ain't popping up in that crap. But yeah, and here's this Russian olive sapling that somehow came here. I don't know if I'll keep it or not, but who knows, I might get pulled out. Here's the evergreen spindle bush, and then, let's see. Then we have, oh yeah, the, a bunch of just disaster weeds in here. With some tulips there, and hollyhocks there, hollyhocks there, and tulips there. Yeah, but boxwood bush, and then over here we got a, just terrible weeds here and trees, tons of tree saplings from American elms. We have tulips right, let's see, right there, hollyhocks there, and there's some tulips popping up there too, and tulip with like one little weird leaf there, and then I think a tulip right there. So, yep, yeah, and then. There's a bunch of, uh, those kind of poplar trees there. They're, uh, little husks, shells, things, and their seeds came off in the wind a few days ago. And now it's just those fuzzy things that are getting ready to come down. I guess those are from the cottonwood poplar trees. See if I can get, like, all these brown things. Those are the husks from them. Or the shells, I don't know what they're called. And then, anyway, here's our cherry tree. I'm so glad it came back to it's still doing good. It's actually getting leaves and flowers all of a sudden, like really fast. It was just a bud, a few, buds a few days ago. Oh my gosh, so pretty. But anyway, see like the the American elm or the not American elms, the cottonwood poplar worm with fuzzy things. I don't know what they are. But that's what those. Are. Those are going to be falling down someday and spreading their seeds, and then. We have the cherry tree. Oh, I just love our cherry trees doing good and still alive. Makes me so happy. And then here is the dwarf 
no, it's just a male flowering plum tree. I don't know if it's a dwarf or not, or a, mi a miniature one or not, but it's getting leaves and stuff, and you get flowers on it too, which is pretty. It has purple leaves, and then use the Douglas fir. It'll get it. It's, I think it's getting some barely starting new growth at the top. You can kind of notice this here. Oh my gosh, I think a wasp happened there. I think I forgot there's like a wasp nest in there somewhere. I saw a bug flying around, but it wasn't a wasp. Just wanted to make sure. But yeah, and then it's cool because when we get this new growth, they're like all like green spots, like light green. And uh, here's the, I guess these are called weeping yuccas. I always think they're called yuccas, but they're called yuccas. I think they're called weeping yuccas. They get like the white flowers and stuff. And uh, grapevine is there. So can you see, let's see if I can get a better view right there. Yeah, I don't know if it's alive or not, but hopefully it is. Pretty small. And then I'll show you the uh, the weeping cherry willow over here. Now it looks like some of its petals fell off, but it has like some flowers finally blooming now. Finally. They always start near the trunk. Oh, there's some good ones right there. See, this is all like water sprouts that came back this year. My dad doesn't want them to be on there, so he's, he's like trying to kill the tree so it doesn't like infest bugs and get into the window right there, so. He's like skinning the tree. Um, probably all the way up to the top someday. <laughs> and uh, maybe that'll stop the growth. Maybe it won't. I hope it doesn't, but who knows? It probably will. But they're pretty. I don't know what's a problem with it, but who knows? Here's the box of snorkel fish. And yeah, the air conditioner, which we uncovered, has been on lately. Not a lot, but just a few times if it's really hot. Cypress, whatever these are, I don't know. And, uh, but then, and then I'll show you, this is a cat spruce in the middle of the trail we have. And I'll show you the American elms, see how they're getting those seeds on there. They don't look like leaves, but they're just little tiny seeds on there. Little elm seeds that eventually turn brown. And a bit like a faded color or whatever. It's a nice little breeze there. All this wheat grass is right now, I'm getting pretty awesome to go in. So in the late summer, it'll look like this and all those wheat things at the top. So we have um, okay, so tulips over here. These are pretty, there's a bunch of them over here and they go all the way over there too. We have like a bunch of tulips here that get like pretty red and yellow flowers. I don't know how to explain it. There's some tulips there and there. There's even some more tulips here as well. And cover this little bit. These are a little bit covered. There's like some more there, and some more there, and all that stuff. And there's some more there too, which I didn't know that went that far, but they do. And I think that's all that I go up to. So I don't know if there's any more back here. But... And then we have, oh, here's the box loader. Maybe we'll see that transplanted from. Well, I didn't trans, I mean, I guess I did, but it was like, it's, it did, uh, just. We had a strawberry pot and the fox on the trees at my dad's old house by the air conditioner and they just a seed landed in there and it sprouted and I just kept it growing and uh, when I moved here it was like this tall and just a straight just that and no branches and then now it looks like this it's getting little buds on it see here right there it's getting a bud I'll get some leaves here and that'll be nice see where's oh there's where I saw some good buds like right here yeah it's still alive that's good Here's the back of the Douglas fir. It grew like that because these American elms used to be like right up it, whatever. But, um, yeah. I think it's a tire here, I guess so. I don't know. Anyway, we had like tires here. <laughs> it's crazy. We had like tires like one, two, three, four. And you can barely see them now because of all the ground cover. You can barely see this one. I had no idea this was here, but see? It's just crazy. We had like arms on them. That sure didn't work out. <laughs> But here is, see these still have, these parts of the American Elm still have the flowers. Don't mind the jets, they're super loud. They always happen here. Here's the seeds though. They're barely starting, but they'll be getting like actually like probably the size of a dime. I'll see if I can view the jets if they come over us or something. That's all I know. My dad probably knows better. But yeah.
American elm trees are crazy, spread everywhere, but they're just nice. Neighbors dogs are yapping. But yeah, this is my dad's house garden tour. A lot of information I should have let you know because I'm glad I waited till now though because I've been thinking about doing it the other few days ago. It's just been it was nice, really nice over the weekend. You know it's a Wednesday now, yeah. But it was really nice over the weekend. You know, it was kind of cool the last couple of days. And it was supposed to get a bunch of thunderstorms yesterday, didn't get anything, but around us got thunderstorms. It's supposed to get some tomorrow too. I don't know what will happen. The drought here still sucks. But yeah, there's a American Elm's doing good. And the garden's doing good. There's some Johnny jump ups that I noticed were popping up, but they're not blooming or anything. They're just their plant is popping up like right there. Those will be Johnny jump ups, and those are pretty. And there's more too all over the place now because it's really tiny right now, but yeah. It'll be nice when we get more flowers. A lot of trees around here are like glow willows are blooming, are not blooming, they're getting leaves already. And some other type of tree, I don't know what it is, it's getting leaves. And their fruit trees are flowering. There's not really examples I could show you now, but it's just. But yeah, everything's greening out the neighbor's house. Some yellow daffodils over there and stuff so yeah it's definitely getting greener here and springs here and all that so i'm really glad so hope you all enjoyed this video i'll keep you updated